What's going on guys? The Angreaser here. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be going over um, one of the most greasiest boots of all time. Uh, I probably covered it in my first video that I probably made, but I just picked up a new pair of boots and good thing I did because a lot of places are closing due to COVID-19. Um, unfortunately for us or whatever, um, I'm sure everywhere, we're all in this together. But uh, I figured I'd do a quick video on the engineer boot. Now, the engineer boot, this is what these look like, okay? Um, and you can tell an engineer boot, and I'm sure a lot of people will say it, is uh, strap and buckle. Uh, these are round-toed. Um, I had the exact same pair of boots uh, at one point. It's just that um, my, old, my old ones that I had or whatever, the, the, these are not steel-toed. I wanted to get them steel-toed, but unfortunately for Canada West, which um, I'm going to probably probably tell you guys that, um, well, Canada West, uh, the, 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 these guys are made in Winnipeg, Canada, um, in Manitoba. Um, one of the best boots I've ever bought in my life, um, without a doubt. Uh, this is basically like, this is like a step, a step down from, let's we'll say like, because if you guys don't already know, the um, the engineer boot was originally made by like the the ones that I I, I did research on was Chippewa and Wesco brands, um, that everyone knows of, and uh, I'm gonna tell you guys that th this is like a step down from like say you have like Chippewa and Wesco. And now if you don't already know, um, I was actually looking into it, and um, for those that don't actually know. Uh, to my knowledge, um, the first, I wouldn't say it's the first pair, but the, the pair of boots that actually, I think that they started back in the, I want to say the 1900s, um, was actually Red Wings. Uh, Red Wings Shoe Company is actually, a, um, it's actually a brand named uh, place and they actually sell, it's almost, the, it's almost like the same thing as the Chippewa Engineer boot. Um, and believe it or not, or whatever, they actually have one up, up, uh, actually up on the west end of uh, Edmonton. Um, and, um, the, some of the coolest stuff I've ever seen. Um, but, uh, but yeah, no, um, this is an engineer boot. Um, got these, like I said, I just got these ones today. Um, I'm going to, these things look absolutely gorgeous just the way they look. And, um, one thing I can say about this, about the uh, Canada West is that this is not cheap hard. This is not cheap hardware. This is actually, uh, like full grain quality leather this thing is not going to fall apart on you and the reason I say that is because normally when I look at a pair of boots um normally because you look at the bottom of a boot right this is like I said Canada West boots you'll know that from the logo and uh the 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 what do you call it I think this is like the the this is the oil resistant nitrate that's on it I'm not 100% sure this is oil proof right um so it's slip resistant and all that stuff but um, the one thing to note about these is that um, these look absolutely, it's not just, these boots aren't just made for riding. You can actually wear these around all day, every day. Um, it's not just necessarily a work boot. Um, I, I say these things are work boots myself because that's what they were meant for originally. Um, the one thing to note about engineer boots is that uh, the way the way it's designed okay so this one actually has a this one has a walking heels so others have actually um other boots like cowboy boots and bike like more so like the harness boots like i have that are also canada west um you'll know this isn't cheap hardware either because um the stitching stitching all the way around now i noticed with boots that not saying all of them but like Chippewa and Wesco, these are kind of the same ordeal. I'm not sure. But um, if you look at a boot, uh, if it's nailed, which it should be, because if it's nailed, you'll know it's a good boot. And the reason I say that is because when I look at something like heels on boots, a lot of boots, like I'm not going to lie, Ariat and all this other stuff, I've had them all. I know what, exactly what it's like. Um, 
it's just glued. All this is just glued. It's not like this is glued and stitched at the same time in, in regards to that. Um, and uh, I'd say, you know what I mean? Like it's got uh, insole in them. You can actually take the insole out. I'm not going to do it because uh, I kind of want to <laughs> wear these things a bit before I like break them in because now don't kid yourself or whatever break them when you break these things in these are not the most comfortable boot when you put them on okay um maybe when you put them on and say oh yeah this thing's fit all right or whatever these are not the most comfortable boot especially when i had my steel toes those were absolutely atrocious for the first few weeks or week or so and um they they were painful uh, i won't lie they were really really painful to wear um and obviously with these ones like these things ha this is uh this is um real metal um i gotta adjust these eventually here but now these things are real metal um it's got dual buckles one on top one on the bottom strap double another strap on the top and it's kind of got that stove top kind of topping i don't know what you call that um some people some people say it's something else i think or i don't know um and but um like I said, I look at boots and especially on heels, especially if it's like, this is a walking heel. Now you look at most boots, you look at some boots and, um, if you still see heels, like that look kind of like this, like, th like this, like just that, that's not even a heel. You know what I mean? Um, your boots not going to last on you. I will be, I will be personally honest with you on that. And it's because, um, I was actually looking at, because I went into the shop today and when I picked these out and they were describing on some of the boots like Boulet, Boulet boots are some of the best boots I've ever worn in my life. Um, great pair of boots, recommend them. Um, kind of the same ordeal. Uh, but anyways, uh, before I get off topic here, because like I always do, pardon me. Um, the thing about like with these boots is that you want to make sure that, uh, it fits okay you don't want to buy a pair of boots that does not fit you okay when you want to buy something because the thing is is like with jackets and all this other bs or whatever um they stretch on you and and they they form like like the leather it it, it looks it looks as is right now because i haven't like i never i haven't worn them yet but as soon as this because it, it, it'll once you break it in it'll actually like form more to your foot essentially um but again these things are not steel toed i wish they were but i can't go wrong the price you cannot beat these um now with canada prices um these are some of the best ones i've bought in. and the reason i say it is because with canada west i paid 239 dollars canadian for these and it's because um like where i got them is actually like these guys make like handcraft these in canada and um now canada west um to my knowledge everyone that i know like albert and greaser and all that everyone that i know um we all wear canada most of us wear canada west or harley boots and it's because these are like basically these are basically like these are basically like red wings in a sense um and chippewa engine this is like the chippewa boot to an extent um, the only thing though is you just it's just a different brand essentially um, uh, but yeah no um, beautiful beautiful boot um, and I uh, just figured I'd do a quick review on that because I gotta say like Canada West you can even if you can really get into that it'll actually say it right there bikers um, and um, just overall a very beautiful nice comfortable well it's comfortable once you break it in like I said I'll say it again and um just do a quick review on that because sometimes or like i said these are the engineer boots and um yeah so we're gonna do a quick review on that and uh just tell you what i think and yeah so uh you guys have a good one stay safe out there and uh we'll see you guys in the next one